Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, I know. It's been a little while since I've been on. Made even a video, but you know, it is what it is. So right now, I'm going to make some uh, low carb, low carb chicken alfredo. And how I'm going to make it low carb is I'm going to use these uh, veggie spirals as the noodles. Okay, I'm going to season. I got them got chicken all cut, cut up. So we'll use Mrs. Dash Original. You know, give it a little season. A little bit of season. Some onion powder. And of course, the famous garlic powder. Garlic makes everything taste better. Yes, it does. Okay. Now, go get in this drawer right here and do the spatula. Oh, I'm going to give it a little oil, too. It's time for it up. And then let me get my broccoli out and let's get it on. Hey guys, I just went ahead. I got a steamable microwave bag for the broccoli. So I got that in. So we'll do it. I still got to put this in the microwave, too. This chicken's done. I want a little bigger pieces. I want to stop this chicken. It's so good. I don't want to eat it like this. Mm-mm-mm. Kind of a little overcooked it. A little too hard. I was on the thing with the little situation. This, I think I could put in the microwave, too. So that's probably what I end up doing. But I'm just using the Kroger's traditional um, Alfredo sauce. I might not use the whole jar with these noodles because, well, the noodles are three and a half certain, so I might. We'll see. And then I got Parmesan cheese. I'll add on to it, too. I just got to get it out, too. Not with it today. I've been sick the last couple days. Today's the first day I've really felt 100. Then I'm going out with my niece tonight. Or dinner, because she wanted to go out. Yes, this couch goes in there, too. So, we'll do that. We've got the keys, the keys put away. And uh, stuff like that. So, that's what I'm going to do. But I don't want to turn these off. I got them down, I got them down as low as the dough so the pan will stay hot. So, everything can heat up nicely. You know what I mean? So, Guys, we got the broccoli done. So I could, uh, I put it in about five minutes. It leaks water, yes, I know, but yeah, now it'll be all right. It wipes up. <laughs> so I'll go put this in the thing. I know it's a lot easier, or you could borrow that up yourself, but I don't have one. So it says put this on high for five minutes. Let me get the scissors and cut this. My tripod's being crazy, so. I don't know why. It, my phone would not stay on it. So I'll pour it in. And we'll put the noodles and sauce in. Then I'm going to stick a lid on it. For a few and let it simmer up. This going to be so good. This is even good like this. <laughs> but I'm trying to do, you know, a low carb Alfredo. Been wanting Alfredo. And I thought, you know, this would be perfect. I had got those noodles. You can get them from Kroger's, Walmart. You can get them everywhere. I don't know. Save lots might even have them. So I think this will turn out perfect. I don't care for these big chunks of broccoli. I don't think these big chunks are done. So I'm definitely going to have to let that simmer up some. Oh, no, they're done. Okay. This kind of didn't fill with it with the spatula. Oh, yeah, they're good and done. Awesome, awesome. Awesome. Okay. Next step. We'll wait on the spirals. Uh, noodles to get done. Then we'll be good to go. Gotta wash my scissors. Someone's put them in there and washed them. Of course. <laughs> Figure that one out, right? Okay. Let's 
throw the stuff away. Then we'll give this a taste test when it's done, and I'll let y'all know. Hey guys, I want to show you my new phone case that I got. It's cassette tape, isn't that cool? Got it off of Amazon. Goes this way. Guess I could write on it right there, can't we? You know, like back in the days, like we used to. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Huh? I seen. I was like, yep, I have to have that. I thought it was pretty cool. I wish they made it with a hose or more up here. But I guess it really don't matter, huh? I mean, which way does a cassette tape? Which way do you hold a cassette tape? This way or that way? It doesn't matter. It's really cool, though. I thought it was kind of awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I liked it. Okay, here you guys go. We got the noodles. Ouch, it's hot. It's hot. I was going to boil them, then I was like, eh. That'd be too much. I think that'd be too watery, wouldn't it? I think so, too. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, now, take it. Let's go to open that. Now I'm going to add Alfredo sauce. I decided to go ahead and just put it all in here. So I think it'll be good. And it's all low carb. Mm-hmm. And some a little bit of Parmesan cheese in it. They could be good. And one more other thing I forgot to get. And I got some black pepper. Oh yeah. So I turned it up a little bit. Just kind of let this marinate. Stir it all about. And of course. As soon as it gets all nice and yummy and done, I'll give it a taste test for y'all. I'll let some of the water from all the vegetables cook out of the pan. And then we'll take it from there. Looking really good, though. I think it is too. See the water, how much water is there? I gotta let that cook out. I don't want all that in there. Okay, lots of veggies. Good old yummy chicken. I probably should have actually really had it on the bigger burner. But you know, it happens. Okay, you guys, there we have it. Doesn't that look so good? It looks so yummy. So I'm going to take uh, this little saucer here and try to tap it. Like I said, I don't want to eat too much because I'm going out with my niece. So I thought that was something on my plate, but it wasn't. Going out with my niece to eat. So, uh, yeah, I don't want to eat too, too much. And then going out with her tonight. So just her and I is going. That brown's just from the chicken. So I was just going to get a little bit and try it for you. I really don't feel like being on camera, so we'll see. And another thing, my uh, um, thing won't stay. Oh, much with the new case, my uh, camera won't stay on there. My phone won't stay on the tripod. Heating up some corn, too. So I have a little bit of corn go with it, I guess. So let me do heat up the corn, have a little bit with it, and we'll be good to go. I'll show you guys. Well, I'll taste that. Okay, you guys, we got it all done. So let's give it a dry. I won't really get to the noodles. Making that much, I think I need two packs of noodles. I think I do. I think I really do. Mmm. That's delicious. See, I only got a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit of corn on too. Oh, that's good. Just on a little, you know, saucer plate. Oh, chum on my chin chin. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna get off here. Thank you all so much for watching this. I really am trying to do a lot better. 
Um, in tomorrow's video, I might get a little clip of our dinner that we get. I'm going to try to get healthy, lowest carbs as I could get. And everything like that. I had eggs and a little bit of cottage cheese. I know, crazy combo for lunch or for breakfast this morning. But that is truly what I had with a cup of coffee. And I had um, my ounces of Metamucil. <laughs> Hey, I've been doing what you guys said, and I put ice in it too, and mix it really well. And you put ice on it, and make it really cold. It's good. I haven't did my hair yet today, but I'm working on it. I am working on it. Okay, I can only do one thing at a time. Oh God. Mhm. Mm and that is very slowly at a time. <laughs> okay, I love y'all. Thank you for hanging in there with me. Like I said, the first day I was sick, I was in bed all day long. Mm. I was just, ugh, ugh, all day. The second day, I was feeling a little better, a little nauseated. I still made it today. I feel wonderful. Love y'all. God bless. Stop outside.